what do you hope of? You will make 20 million if you follow our instructions. Deal or no deal? Did Simpsons expose the Illuminati's plan for world domination? Are we living in a world where the fate of humanity is controlled by a secret cabal of powerful elites? Many have long suspected the existence of the Illuminati, and recent statements from celebrities like Kanye West, Jim Carrey, and Jeffree Star have only added fuel to the fire. But if you think these conspiracy theories are just the musings of a paranoid fringe, think again. The Simpsons, a show that has been airing for over 30 years, may have been secretly predicting the Illuminati's plans for global domination all along. From subtle hints to outright references, the evidence is mounting that this cartoon series holds the key to understanding the true nature of our world. Are you ready to have your mind blown? Keep watching as we unveil the shocking truth about the Illuminati and The Simpsons. The Simpsons predicts things because Matt Groening is part of the Illuminati. The Simpsons is a sharply observed mirror of American popular culture. When it's at its most effective, though, it also has the unnerving capacity to represent happenings in the real world years before they really take place. This final part, as we all know, is entirely due to the fact that series creator Matt Groening is part of the Illuminati. He is discreetly playing with watchers by leaving small clues as to his true nature throughout the show. People have taken note of Nostradamus' forecasts in the past, whether it be in the form of the show's portrayal of Disney's takeover of Fox or of Trump becoming president. It begins with a brief rundown of some of The Simpsons' most accurate forecasts, which range from the tiger attack that foreshadowed the end of Siegfried and Roy's career, to The Simpsons somehow knowing who would win a Nobel Prize years in advance. A series that has been on the air for as long as The Simpsons have, and contain as many throwaway visual gags as that series does, is bound to predict a few future events along the way or influence cultural trends simply by virtue of the fact that it is such a well-loved show. This is one of the more important aspects of the documentary, as it also tries to determine why exactly this keeps happening. The claim that Graining is really some kind of high-level Illuminati member, and that he has been explaining the world's true reality via symbols is mentioned fleetingly in many newspapers around the internet. The hypothesis has a lot of support and is incredibly well-founded. Also, there is an abundance of videos that are very sensible, and they reveal Graining to be the esoteric visionary that he really is. If you examine the way in which the show contains covert symbolism that has been planted there by mysterious persons, such as Graining, who control all mass media, do the forecasts made by The Simpsons have any other possible explanation outside some strange and convoluted type of global programming? The final answer is that Matt Groening is a member of the Illuminati that has extensive insight into all aspects of the human experience, including the past, the present, and the future. After all, the power that comes with being a part of the Illuminati club that has the ability to turn Steve Gutenberg into a celebrity is something that just cannot be understated. Did Simpsons expose the Illuminati's plan for world domination? The Simpsons is a popular animated comedy that was created by Matt Groening and has aired for 27 seasons over many years. Within the chaotic stories of America's premier nuclear family, there have been some strangely accurate prophecies about the near future. Thus, here are the 10 most unnervingly accurate forecasts that have been made by The Simpsons, and presumably by the Illuminati as well. Ebola outbreak, predicted in 1997. A conspiracy theorist show that went popular in 2014 asserts that The Simpsons correctly anticipated the most current Ebola epidemic in the United States. The episode featured Marge offering to read Bart a book titled Curious George and the Ebola Virus, which the YouTube creator, The Controversy 7, claims are proof that the producers of the show knew about the future outbreak and are, of course, members of the Illuminati. The episode also featured Bart's weird reaction to Marge's offer to read Bart the book. Before they started talking about the Illuminati, it was nearly believable, wasn't it? FIFA scandal, predicted in 2014. A situation very similar to the one that occurred in this episode of The Simpsons, which aired in 2014, took place a year before a succession of high-ranking FIFA executives were arrested by the FBI on allegations of corruption, which flipped the world of football on its head. An executive vice president of the Global Football Federation comes to see Homer and asks him to serve as a referee in the next World Cup tournament. The American authorities moved swiftly to apprehend and transport him after charging him with corruption. In the episode, it was even prophesied that Germany would end up winning the tournament that year. 
The NSA scandal, predicted in 2007. The prolonged joke in The Simpsons was about the massive monitoring network maintained by the National Security Agency. This was six years prior to the time when Edward Snowden revealed the actual scale of the NSA's snooping on inhabitants of the United States of America. In The Simpsons episode, a random comment made by Marge in which she reprimands Lisa for being concerned about being followed by spies while they are on the run causes an alert to sound at an NSA building. The building has hundreds of employees who are eavesdropping on people's private conversations all around the nation. And Marge's gossiping is what ultimately led to the arrest of her family. Horsemeat Scandal, predicted in 1994. The Simpsons made a joke about lunch lady Doris using assorted horse parts, now with more testicles, in her cooking a full 19 years before it was discovered that some beef sold in Europe had been tainted with horse meat. A side point is that Lunch Lady Doris has been renamed Lunch Lady Dora since the original voice actress for the character, Doris Grau, passed away in 1995. Even in the meat industry, the Illuminati are constantly behind some scheme or another. Faulty Voting Machines, predicted in 2008. Homer Simpson attempts to cast his vote for Barack Obama in an electronic voting booth in the Halloween special that aired in 2008, but the system has a fault and instead votes for Barack Obama's opponent, John McCain. Just four years later, in 2012, a voting system in Pennsylvania was removed from use when it was seen on video casting votes intended for President Obama in favor of Mitt Romney, who was running against him in real life. And not only that, but the previous president, Donald Trump, claimed that Joe Biden had taken his presidency by using faulty voting systems. The Simpsons episode shows that it is so very evident that the Illuminati is in charge of the globe and that the presidents are only their puppets. 9-11, predicted in 1997. You have gone very far down the rabbit hole of conspiracy theories if you believe that this one is even somewhat plausible. But let's go with it anyhow. A video uploaded to YouTube by the user Truth Will Find You Bruh highlights a scene from the premiere of Series 9 in 1997 in which Lisa can be seen holding up a bus coupon ad that offers discounted tickets to New York City for $9. They believe that since the price is shown next to a picture of the skyline of New York City, which includes the World Trade Center, the advertisement reads New York 9-11, which suggests that the producers of the show had foreknowledge of the attacks. How is it even conceivable that the events of September 11th could have been predicted? Is it possible that the Illuminati were responsible for the attacks? But when you pause to think about it, they can't have been, since the Illuminati are not a member of Al-Qaeda, right? 2016 Nobel Prize winner In the first episode of the 2010 season, Krusty the Clown is announced as the recipient of the Nobel Peace Prize. Lisa, Milhouse, and a number of Lisa's other geeky pals had remained up late to listen to the announcement. So far, so Simpsons, but then we get a look at Martin's betting pool card, and we see that Milhouse had predicted an economics prize for Bengt R. Holmstrom, who actually went on to win in real life. Holmstrom, who is affiliated with MIT and Oliver Hart, shared the 2016 Nobel Prize in Economics for the work that they did on the contact theory. You can tell that the Illuminati have some kind of preference for Bengt R. Holmstrom, but we do not know precisely what it is that they like him for. Greece's Economic Collapse, predicted in 2012. A throwaway comedy on this episode from 2012 foresaw how absurd the situation would get three years before the government debt implosion in Greece, which saw it become the first nation to default on a loan repayment to the IMF. The phrase, Europe puts Greece on eBay, is scrolled over a ticker on a rolling news program that Homer appears on. During the most difficult times in their history, it makes us question whether the Greeks had ever given this possibility any thought. However, the mystery still remains as to why the Illuminati chose to burden Greece with debt, as well as why Greece remains a popular summer destination even now. The God Particle, predicted in 1998. It wasn't until 2012 that scientists were able to definitively prove the existence of the Higgs boson, sometimes known as the God Particle. This discovery was a major step toward better understanding how everything in the universe has mass. However, according to Dr. Simon Singh, the author of The Simpsons and Their Mathematical Secrets, after Homer decided to become an inventor in The Wizard of Evergreen Terrace, he was pictured standing in front of a blackboard with an equation that predicted the mass of the yet-to-be-discovered particle. According to what he said in an interview with The Independent, if you figure it out, you get the mass of a Higgs boson that's just a little greater than the nanomass of a Higgs boson truly is. It's very incredible to think that Homer was able to make this prediction 14 years before it was actually found. 
Or did the Illuminati decide to make it public in the show for all the people around the globe to view it? As we have seen, The Simpsons has been hinting at the existence of the Illuminati and their plans for global domination for years. While it's impossible to know for certain if these references are intentional or just coincidental, it's clear that the show has touched on many of the same themes and ideas as those who believe in the Illuminati. Whether or not you believe in the Illuminati, one thing is for sure. The Simpsons has been captivating audiences for over 30 years and will continue to do so. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more mind-blowing content.